push the trigger and release the marbles. So this is a bit of a, a bodge, um, but what we we'll have here is my attempt to sort of recreate a kind of trigger which was created on, was shown on Discord by the Moen. He actually has a video, so I'll link it in the description below. But it uses instead of using um, individual triggers for every single marble on the wheel, it uses a single trigger outside of the wheel, which only is triggered when there is a stack of marbles here. Um, there's essentially a kinked path in here, which if I remove the trigger, you'll see. There's a path which is kinked, and normally the marbles will go straight through, bounce off that, and go off on the path. But when there's a stack here, then that marble gets kinked sideways and it pushes on this trigger. We put it all back together. Now, if you've been on Discord, you've probably seen a version of this that I drew up. I was going to 3D print it, but I realised it was going to take many, many hours of printing and I wasn't 100% convinced the design would work. So instead, I mocked it up in Lego, uh, first because it's a bit quicker and also because I realised the gears I was going to print were almost identical to Lego gears anyway. So anyway, I, I mocked this up. The, uh, the wheel transfers torque through all these gears into this escape wheel which turns the opposite direction and then it hits this trigger here and then when that uh, trigger scenario happens and this gets pulled sideways it releases that escapement allowing the wheel to turn this in a proper version would have an elastic or something or a spring or something to pull and bring it back again and catch the next one ready to load up let's load some marbles in there And that, now that there's uh, marbles in the stack, when uh, these come in, they push the trigger and release the marbles. That's how it should be. Except, the main problem I have with this is the slop in all of these gears. You can see, I can move this a fair distance. Basically, if I hold on a second. Basically, I can move this almost a full uh, eighth of the wheel turn without actually moving the wheel and the same is true the other way and it depends on the amount of force that you put on obviously how far you can push that slop which means that to get this wheel loading there by the time it gets to here there's that much force on the wheel that it's actually moved it around against the slop and if I have that set so that it doesn't have any slop and when there's eight marbles loaded well this is turned backwards because of the you know, the slop, and that means that no wheels, can, no uh, marbles can load. So, I don't think a geared solution is going to work. I think we're going to have to go back to the Moen's original uh, idea of using a trigger to directly impact the wheel. But it was a nice idea, and I'm glad I didn't spend hours 3D printing this.